Welcome back to a new episode of Mushroom Programming. Today's episode, I'll simply show you how you can use the volume up and volume down buttons to perform actions in your app. So just similar to how Snapchat and Instagram allow you to take photos or record videos using those buttons, today we're also going to just perform actions using those buttons. So the first thing we need to do is, first of all, we have a SwiftUI project over here. Now what I need to do is I need to go to the project root, so I call it button presses. And we're going to download this GitHub repository in order to actually uh, work with these buttons. So to do that, first of all, let me just show you the repo. It's over here, and we're going to use pods to actually install it. To do this, it's actually very simple. All you need to do is get your terminal up. Once it loads up, what you need to do is you need to type in CD, put a space, and then drag and drop your folder. And that means that you're now inside of your folder just like this. Now what I need to do is I need to type in pod in it and if you just give it a second it will create another file here that will allow us to actually edit the pods and these are basically libraries that you're using in your project. So there we go we've got a pod file that was just created. So what I will do is I'll double click on that pod file and then Let's go to the git page and you can see here that to install it from CocoaPods, what you need to do is add pod and then put the name of the pod. So let's go ahead and copy this. And there's no need for this anymore. So I'm just going to close it and I'm just going to go over here and paste it just like this. Now I'm going to save this file and I'm going to close the file. And I'll get terminal again, and then I'll type in pod install. And what that will do is it will now go through this file and find the pods that I entered and then install it. Now we can go ahead and close this project that we had. And from now on, only open the white file. So let's go ahead and open it. And we're just going to expand our project right here let's go to the content view I don't want the um, Canva canvas and this is basically where we're going to create our project now it's going to be very simple I just want to simply have some text and when the upper button is clicked it will say button is clicked uh, up button is clicked when we click on the down one let's say down button is clicked so first of all let's actually import the library that we just downloaded so that is import and then JP s volume button handler and what we will do now is we need to just create another variable and it will be at state var volume handler and we're going to say that it's of type gps jps sorry volume button handler and add a question mark now let's start working on our view. Now again, it's like I mentioned, it's just going to be very simple. I'll basically have um, a V stack over here, or we can actually have it as a Z stack. Inside of here, I'll have text. For now, let's just say no button is pressed. And then once this Z stack app is, so once basically our app launches and loads everything, we're going to do something. So let's say dot on api, and we're just going to replace those brackets with a zigzaggy bracket. Now this is, this is when we actually get to do things. So first of all, let's set our volume handler, and we're going to say JPS volume handler. We're going to open a bracket, up and down blocks. So we've got up, so what happens when the upper button is clicked, and what happens when the down button is clicked. And don't worry about this error, we're gonna fix it in a second. So let's go ahead and remove this. And inside of here, we're going to put some code, which will run when the upper button is clicked. And then we're gonna put um, the comma. We're gonna go over here and we're going again to add another zigzaggy bracket that will run once it works. And you can see that we, have, we now um, have the errors disappeared. So let's do something here. Um, now I'm going to create another variable here that will say at state var um, text to show. And this will simply have no button is pressed. 
and then we're just going to replace the actual text here by that variable. So text to show. Now, every time the upper button is clicked, we just want to say that text to show is equal to volume up is pressed. If the down one is, is done clicked, then we're simply going to say um, volume down is pressed. Now, this is enough to make it work, but just how we said he on a P and then we started our volume handler, uh, what we can do is we actually need to start it first. So when it says on a P over here, what we need to do is that we need to say volume handler equals to dot start. And start of here, we're just going to replace that by true. And on this AP, so when we're about to turn off the app, basically, or when we're about to go to a different view, well, we need to turn this off because you still need your buttons to work outside of that area. For example, if you're on Instagram and you're outside of the photos, then you need to be able to put it down or put up your volume. But if you're in that page where you can take your stories, that's when you only need that to work. So you're going to say something like, on this AP, volume handler question mark dot start and we're going to put false there we go so what i'm going to do to test this app is i'm going to connect my iphone and i'm going to actually share my screen and show you how that works or how that looks okay so the app just loaded on the iphone and you can see that right now it says no button is pressed just how we set it up to but if I click on the upper volume, you can see that it says volume up is pressed. And if I click on the bottom volume, you can see that it says volume down is pressed. And I can basically do this as many times as I want. And it will keep always interacting the same way. So you can set this up to take images or videos or really set it up to do whatever you want. You can even set it up to shoot people if you're, it's a gaming game. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you did enjoy this episode. Please leave a like and subscribe to this video. Have a good day.